Virginia State, I did not go to Virginia State for my first degree. I went to Norfolk State, and actually I like Norfolk State better than Virginia State. I went to both so I could talk about both of them. But my focus is on Virginia State. Now, Virginia State is what we call an HBCU, and this is important. What does, what does that acronym mean? What does B stand for? Black. Okay, very good. We got one. Black. Can somebody want to help her out? Can I do it? Oh, come on. Are you oh, historical. The Beautiful. Now you're using your brain. Historically black, black college and university. colleges and universities. Now, this is what I tell people. You have historically black colleges and universities, and then we have what some may consider a PWI. What do you think that means? Um, Let's use our brains. Correct, so predominantly white institutions. Now, let me point something out to you before you go to your sheet. What colleges look at to accept you, you tell me, what do they look for? What you're good at in terms of what? What's the first, what gets you accepted to a college like Virginia State? Grades, this is important. Now, I want you all to understand this. Your GPA is important. If you're in Algebra 1 or when you take Algebra 1, that's a class that will be used to determine your GPA. That's what gets you accepted to schools like Virginia State. Let me give you an example of grades. When you calculate your GPA, this is what colleges look at. A, 4, B, 3. A C, 2, D, 1, F, 0. So in most cases, if you play sports or you participate in any extracurricular activities, you have to maintain a what? Good grades. Good grades, which is a C average, a right? And that's here. If you want to get to a good college, I tell kids to aim to graduate with honors. And when you graduate from high school with honors or college, you have to have a GPA of at least a 3.0. And that's a B average. 